Do you have a question about GitHub? Or do you want to know how to use any of the GitHub services? Or perhaps you just want to discuss with other people about DevOps, programming, projects, events, etc. Well, this is exactly what the GitHub community is for, and we will take a look at it in this 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you know, in this episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, or yet try and teach you something, and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about the GitHub community, so let's start the clock and get into it. The GitHub community is the place where you can find solutions, share ideas, and follow discussion about GitHub, DevOps, and software development in general. To explain this better, I've asked my good friend and colleague, Miki, who's very active in the GitHub community, to talk to you about it. Take it away, Miki. Thanks, Davide. And thanks for the opportunity to introduce the GitHub.community website. Hey, everybody, I'm Miki Gousset. Now, one of my passions for well over a decade has been helping the technical community. And the GitHub community website is just one more way that you, I, and everyone else can do that. Let's check it out. GitHub.community is a website run by the support community team at GitHub that is designed for you to come ask questions and then someone, either from GitHub or from the community, can help you find the answers. Here, you can ask your questions, search to see if your question has already been answered, or try and answer other people's questions. Now, questions are broken down into different categories, such as GitHub Actions, General GitHub Help, etc., so that you can easily find topics that you are interested in. To ask a question, simply click the New Topic button, enter your title and your details, categorize your question. I do recommend being as thorough and as detailed as possible, and include screenshots and repo links if available. GitHub Community also has a little bit of gamifying to it, in that there are badges that you can earn for your activity on the site. This just provides that little bit of extra incentive to both ask and answer questions. And of course, in your profile, you can see all the stats related to your activity. GitHub is where the world builds software. Millions of developers and companies build, ship, and maintain their software on GitHub, which means that there are a lot of questions out there to be answered. And I highly encourage you to come to github.community and share your knowledge with the world. Back to you, Davide. Thank you, Miki. That was really informative. Remember to check out Miki's channel as well. You can find a link below. He talks about GitHub and DevOps, so I'm sure you will love it. Before we close, there's one more thing I want to talk about. If you click on the original series link in the navigation bar, you can access all these very helpful articles written by GitHub people directly. And those include pro tips, enterprise best practices, and much more. And we're done. Let's stop the clock. Another perfect three minutes Friday. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the GitHub community. And remember to check out Mickey's channel and show him some love. Finally, you may want to see this video over here in which I talk about the GitHub Learning Lab. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Code Dave.